and welcome to Quietly Talking Movies ASMR channel. My name is Mads, and today we are continuing my unboxings of the recent 14th of October collector's editions that I've, that I've purchased. I've already showed you the latest Criterion Collection edition of I Walked With a Zombie and Seventh Victim produced by Val Luton from Criterion Collection um, and I've also shown you To Catch a Thief a recent 4K Ultra HD collector's edition of the 1950s Hitchcock film starring Cary Grant and Grace Kelly Next up on the agenda is the a later film, as you've probably already seen or kind of like realised I'm doing those videos chronologically But the next video Next video, this video Is an unboxing of Wes Craven's In Nightmare on Elm Street The 4K Ultra HD Warner Brothers Ultimate Collector's Edition With a steelbook So yeah, one of the greatest horror classics has received a 4K treatment from Warner Brothers. One that has actually influenced so many movies. It was itself influenced by many movies. But really, I guess a true classic of the genre is finally in 4K and in such a glorious, glorious collector's edition. This is a film I've seen quite some time ago, not too long ago, and yeah, uh, I really like the first one. I'm not sure I really like the sequels that it spawned, however, I think, what's the name of the, <laughs> I guess, third or fourth installment is called the dream warriors and i like that one as well and i think a new nightmare is fine as well um but yeah so this is the warner brothers ultimate collector's edition which is really nice and it comes in this very specific almost like a vhs cassette style and packaging Okay, so without further ado, let's take you through it. But before I do, since we're actually having a steelbook inside, I'm going to put on the gloves. There's a rhyme, the children's rhyme on the beginning of the first film And that they're actually doing Which is basically corresponding to the character of Freddy Krueger There we go Fantastic Oof. And the, the box itself is very nice and yeah, we're getting a matte finish with some spot glossing and we're getting the steelbook. There is some space in between, so the steelbook actually slides in quite easily. So be wary. If you're actually not careful, you might actually have and the steelbook is going to slip outside. Okay, so there we go. We have an armor on Elm Street, which, as I mentioned, is already presented in this kind of like a um, 
VHS uh, cassette tape box almost. We're getting a J card, which is a thick paper. Okay, the 4K Ultra HD, 4K Ultra HD logo. And let's go back, let's go to the back. I'm going to tell you what this includes, the synopsis, the technical details. Then I'm going to remove it and we're going to talk a bit, a bit more about the packaging and the steelbook and the contents inside. Okay, let's take a look what do we have in here. Maybe, first of all, I'm going to remove the knife. Although it is a horror movie, I don't like when my knife is actually visible throughout the video. Okay, let's go. One of the most intelligent and terrifying horror films of the 1980s. The Movie Guide. Well, I guess they could find a better, a better source to quote from than the movie guide, but okay. Teenager Nancy Thompson must uncover the dark truth concealed by her parents after she and her friends become targeted by the spirit of a serial killer with a bladed glove in their dreams. But if he catches them in their sleep, they'll die for real. Yeah. Um, so to be honest, I don't remember the actual plot of the film. Um, and I don't want to actually make any spoilers uh, um, about it. Um, I believe that the reason why Freddy Krieger is actually haunting those kids is because the parent, the the kids' parents actually were re responsible for his death. And I think he was left disfigured, obviously with burned skin because he was actually left in a burning building or something somehow, I, I, somehow that's what I actually imagine but at the same time it's something that yeah I think that's it if I'm mistaken please let me know in the comments as I've said it's been some time since I actually seen this film all right we got 4k ultra hd ultimate collector's edition special features we're getting both the theatrical and uncard versions. And if I can see here, the theatrical version is 91 minutes and the uncard version is, lo and behold, 91 minutes. So, probably getting like just a scene or two, like a couple of seconds more in the uncard version. Okay, and we're getting ready, ready focus points. See alternate takes and learn filmmaking secrets behind Nightmare by jumping to video highlights while watching the movie. Okay. We're getting two commentaries. One with director Wes Craven, co-stars Heather Langenkamp. So Heather Langenkamp, if I remember, she plays the Nancy Thompson character. And John Saxon and cinematographer Jack Haitken. The second commentary is with Wes Craven and co-stars Robert Englund, Heather Langenkamp and Ronnie Blakely and producer Robert Shea and co-producer Sarah Risha. So Robert Englund is obviously playing Freddy. We're also getting alternate endings. Okay, so we're getting multiple endings as well. And three featurettes. The house that Freddy built. The legacy of New Line Horror. Never Sleep Again. The making of A Nightmare on Elm Street and the Night Terrors. The origins of West Craven's Nightmares. Alright, very nice. Okay, so what do we have in the actual box itself? We're getting the film in 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray. I mean, yeah, duh. 
we're getting a rigid slip case okay a steel book all right we're getting an all new 24 page book that's very nice a book not a booklet a book let's see if it's actually a book we're getting a two-sided poster certificate of authenticity 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 of what um and six colorful character cards all right and when it comes to technical details so the 4k ultra hd main feature is presented in hdr uh, definitely but don't mention hdr and uh, dolby vision okay so it's probably just hdr 10 the aspect ratio is 1.85 to 1 but we do get the english dolby atmos soundtrack for this movie great i hope it actually makes a difference because it's an old film so you know if with all the films it doesn't always make some dif make a difference okay so and we're also getting the bbfc 18 certificate logo because the film features a strong sadistic horror and bloody violence and uh, the card also features the updated 2024 warner brothers discovery log okay so let's try to remove the j card That's the main artwork that, as I mentioned, it is almost like a VHS tape. Uh, it is a matte finish, but we do get some spot glossing in one item specifically: the horror mark in here. The logo ratings: the UK and the Irish. Uh, classification office is uh, they are stickers so they can be removed easily I'm with the gloves right now so I'm not even going to attempt here's the spine as I mentioned we're getting the updated Warner Brothers Discovery logo um, unfortunately the 4K Ultra HD sign logo is actually moved below the title to make the way for the Warner Brothers home video and horror mark and the horror mark is bald glossed as well and here's the back with Freddy tearing through the box itself looking at us yeah, I can already see that the Warner Brother, Warner Brothers logo is quite high up, so it might not match the other uh, collector's editions that we've received from them. Okay, let's check out what we get inside. So, as always, rigid slip box and with black inlay. Rigid. So let's check the certificate of authenticity or authenticity. <laughs> oh my gosh, those stupid idiots. Um yeah, so sorry, uh, I'm going to explain why I'm saying stupid idiots. So basically this is a certificate of authenticity. And we got the West Cravens now and right down the street. It's a fine glossy card. This limited collector's edition celebrates the 40th anniversary of one of the most original horror films of all time. And we're also getting the number of the limited edition. And apparently, uh, I 
received in order number 704 from 27,400. <laughs> God. Truly, Mr. Editions to 27,400. Isn't that good? <laughs> by the way, I remember, like on the marketing pictures that you get on HMV and others, you can see this card and you can see that it's actually limited to 4,000. <laughs> uh, but somehow, on the actual card that you're getting, it's limited to 27,400. <laughs> Uh, sorry, that's my Alexa. Um, it's probably like a rain alert. I mean, in Nebraska, it always rains, so I get this alert all the time. Sorry about that. Okay, so there's nothing in the back. Okay, I get a very limited edition of 27,000. Okay, let's take a look at the steelbooks then. Uh, yep, yeah. uh, we're getting the original artwork. For the Nightmare on Elm Street, and uh, the steelbook itself has a matte finish, as we've come to expect from Warner Brothers. Usually, when there's a steelbook, they usually do the matte finish, and I'm not mad about that at all. I actually quite like it. Uh, yeah, it's all black. Here's the spine. In Nightmare on Elm Street, and the back is very dark, and it basically has like some hands reaching from something like a wall or something like that. I guess that's what it is. And as always, we're also getting the credits. Uh, as always, for Warner Brothers, but I should say. Okay, let's open that up. So inside the steel book, we're getting the 4K disc with HDR, as I've mentioned, but only HDR 10. The disc itself is dual layer, 66 gigabytes, and the standard Warner Brothers Blue, Blu-ray logo, and uh, Blue Blu-ray disc, which is a dual layer, 50 gigabytes, and here's the inside of the steelbook showing Freddy in the boiler room. Yeah, so that's it. Maybe I should show the actual full artwork with the steelbook. Yeah, quite nice, quite dark. But to be honest, um, so there is a, I think it's RV, so it's the steelbook itself, not this steelbook though, but it features the artwork from the slip box of the Ultimate Collector Edition. So this is the artwork on the steelbook from Zavi and I guess it actually is more interesting to be honest I really like that artwork for this film I'm not really a fan of this poster I know it's classic um, but yeah I prefer a different one there we go it's the Blu-ray and the 4K disc no special artwork on the discs, unfortunately. Somehow I feel like I'm being spoiled by um, Paramount Pictures doing like a, a new artwork on the discs. Okay, so let's put it in here. And then we actually have the envelope. The envelope is a matte finish as well, and features again the uh, image from the original poster. On the back, we're not getting much of anything, just the uh, uh, the title of the film. So when we open it up, 
let's open it like so because it's hard to get out. What's so hard to get out? Okay, we're getting a poster. Double sided as it was mentioned. And um, yeah, as I've said already on the To Catch a Thief video, because of the fact that I'm having a microphone just in front of my face right now, it's really hard for me to show the posters like I used to. But this is the original artwork again. And we also get a, the Japanese version of the film no was it japanese or was it a finnish M sokagi kabuso it's yonetman music yeah i think that's uh, that was the finnish one the finnish poster for um Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, well that's a that's something. Okay, we're getting art cuts, which, as it happens, they are not. Well, how should I say? They are not in a um, paper, like you know, clip anything so that's the art cards back they are still the same and then we're actually getting the actual cards at the top of the day seem like very new in line with the actual design of the main slip box so we're getting the art card for freddy the art card itself is like very thick and also is a matte finish it's really nice we've got the character art card for freddy we've got nancy in here we got glenn played by young johnny depp because yeah he is in that movie we've got tina Got Lieutenant Thompson, played by Jonah Saxon, and I think last but not least we are also getting Marge. Yep, and we're going back to Freddy. All right, so this is the art cards. Okay, and that's the book <laughs> and yeah i'm sorry warner brothers but that's not a book it is a booklet there's nothing bookish about it okay i mean okay it is like almost like a perfect bound booklet but so i guess i don't know maybe i'm picky Okay, so it's a uh, matte finish in the booklet on the outside and the inside is glossy. So we got on Elm Street, a nightmare on Elm Street, a film by Oscar Craven. And... Okay. We're getting just the photo stills from the movie. It's like all the 24 pages of that booklet, just... That's a famous scene in the bathtub. That's Mr. Wes Craven. It's behind the scenes, thankfully. But it seems just one photo is behind the scenes. Come on. Um, um, 
I have to say I'm pretty disappointed by the booklet because first of all it's not a book as it says second of all it features only photo stills of from the film so nothing unusual like all 24 pages as it says it's basically photo stills from the movie there's only one which we probably might not have seen if you haven't seen the movie which is the um as i mentioned like i think it's almost in the middle the photo store like from the production of the film with Wes Craven here and that's the only one which is not in the movie I suppose do they even say that it's here basically say all new 24 page book this is the all new 24 page book What's so new about it? There's no essays, there's no write-ups about production, there's no production notes, nothing. Ugh, Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers. I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed by it. And the fact that despite what has been shown on the pictures, it's not a limited collector's edition of 4,000, but a limited collector's edition of 27,400 yeah. I'm not sure whether some other people are also not disappointed with this one so after finishing that video this video I'll go and watch a couple of other people who have um, unboxed this um, film already. I think uh, Keith from Euphoria Pictures has already done a video on this, so uh, I know that he's always very honest. So check out if if his opinion actually matches mine. He's always quite critical uh, things uh, for 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 good uh, for good measure actually. Uh, right. So that is the. Nightmare on M Street 4K Ultimate, Ultimate Collector's Edition. Um, I have to say, you know, despite the fact that the booklet is actually a little bit, should I say, disappointing, I think overall that's a very good release. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more oomph when it comes to the booklet. Uh, booklet itself, which is supposed to be brand new, but otherwise, yeah quite solid so yeah that's it when it comes to the to this video um, I still have two editions left I've got the Universal's Ultimate Collector's Edition uh, of Twister to unbox as well as the Paramounts from Paramounts Carous line, the 4K Ultra, 4K Ultra uh, HD limited edition of The Ring, one of my favorite movies, horror movies of all time. Um, I'm not a big horror fan, by the way, but uh, yeah, I do like some, nonetheless. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you liked it. Please give it a like, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, ciao.